Hello, everyone. It's great to see you all and happy Lunar New Year. I'm Demi Mohammed, the program assistant at the Freer Gallery of Art. We thank you for joining us for our art-based meditation session brought to you by the National Museum of Asian Art today. Today's meditation will be led by Aparna as we focus on a mirror from China that is dated as coming from the Sui Dynasty, which is dated from 581 to 618. Again, we thank you for joining us and I'll pass it to Aparna to get us started. And namaste, everybody. Thank you for taking the time to be with us and uh, participate in this art-based meditation offering. To those who are celebrating the Lunar New Year, wish you a very, very happy Year of the Tiger. And our artworks this month will be inspired by this theme of Lunar New Year. So uh, we will be beginning today with a mirror, as Demi said. And this mirror is unique in that it has uh, the 12 animals of the zo Chinese zodiac. And um, when we think about a mirror, it immediately reminds us of the word reflection. We see our reflection in the mirror. So in this mirror, we're going to take a moment to maybe reflect into the past year, reflect into our past, we'll connect with the qualities of the animals as it, you know, as it comes to us at the moment when we are practicing the meditation. And also from a yoga perspective, time, the passage of time, it can also be sensed from our breath. In fact, our entire lifetime can be thought of as the time between those two important breaths, the first ever breath and the last one that we'll ever take. So, so we're going to explore these different aspects uh, through our practice today. And for that, I invite you to sit comfortably. Since there's going to be breathing, <clears throat> it helps to sit upright. And feel free to make that as comfortable as you can. So if you feel that putting a pillow behind your back is going to be super helpful, you can do that. Relax your shoulders. And as we become more and more visual in this Zoom world, sometimes we tend to project the head forward. If that's going on, just slightly push your head back. Maybe slightly tuck the chin if your chin juts forward. And just for a moment, let your eyelids close. Take this moment to arrive into our practice, to arrive with our attention. Notice the presence of the body here. Notice where the body touches anything that is supporting it. And with deep breaths, can we allow the body to take up the space it needs to become more comfortable? In other words, can we drop the weight of the body through these points of contact? Sometimes it also helps to take these deep inhales where we squeeze all of the muscles of the body and let it go. If that was useful, feel free to repeat, squeezing the whole body as you inhale and letting it all go as you exhale. When we're beginning to feel a teeny tiny bit more settled, we can let go of that effortful breathing and place our awareness through this body, noticing sensations in the feet, shins and calves, knees, 
thighs, the hips, the back, the chest and the belly. the shoulders, the arms, hands, neck, and the head. Let's attune to whatever we can feel through this body. like it's a reminder of being here and now. Observing all these, not to judge, but to know. And to make our presence one of loving kindness by letting whatever is to belong to this body in this moment. Take a moment to visualize your presence so full of life. And then try to visualize the presence of your body in the space that you're in. Notice your awareness and consciousness that animates as life within this body. Imagine your full presence as awareness. You can visualize your awareness as light. So the whole body is radiant with that light of awareness. And now from this position where you are, imagine this awareness funneling out as if to visualize the sky above. be like a cone of light of awareness. It's forming a circular field of view about the head, about into the sky. And even though it's the daytime, the stars are still there, we just don't see them. You can imagine this circular field of view enclosing stars and different celestial bodies. And from that cosmic scale, how does our individual presence appear? How does our individual experience seem in relationship to the cosmic scale of our existence? Now from that cosmic scale, let's come back to the body. And take a moment to compare the scale of this physical body to the size of an atom.
how does the body feel like in relationship to the size of an atom? Notice how it is all relative. Our perception through the senses is actually a relative sense of the world. So with this awareness, maybe gently open our eyes. Let's try to see what our eyes can notice. We see the circular shape. There seem to be these rings of designs with a squarish center. And within that central square is yet another circle that looks like something made of glass, something that has some quality of reflection. And we could compare the center and its relationship to the outermost ring, just like our presence to that field of view we just imagined. Now let's go on to zoom in so we can start seeing more details. We'll start from the outer ring and slowly transition towards the center. We'll try to make sense of whatever animal shape we're seeing. And when we can recognize one, we'll also try to reflect on the qualities that this animal represents to us. Notice each animal of the zodiac having its own niche, separated by these floral motifs. 
And then inner to that outermost circle featuring the animals of the zodiac, we see characters. See a ring of characters inscribed. And that's followed by another inner circle with triangular, repetitive triangular design. followed by a ring of scalloped pattern. And inside that ring, we find a squarish pattern where there are four animals in each of these arcs. And there is some sort of symmetry here in the animals featured in the opposite sides of, or opposite vertices of the square. Now let's pay a little more closer attention to the animals in each of these four parts of the square. We'll rotate this image so we can see each animal. And then for a moment, can we close our eyes or look away from the screen? Just noticing what all this could mean, reflecting on what could the presence of so many animals in one circular mirror mean to us? Do we see any connection between the qualities represented by these animals and aspects of ourselves? Aspects that we can relate to. So even though we might be the entire ocean in a single drop, there are facets of us being expressed from time to time. And all of these facets equally precious and belonging to the vastness that we describe as the self. As we pay attention to the center, right here, this innermost circle, you notice that it is devoid of any carving or inscription on it. Like all of that manifestation has dissolved itself 
into the very essence. Devoid of any form. Devoid of what words can express. Devoid of anything that the mind can perceive. Like this nothingness is the potential from which everything manifests. For a moment, can we experience silently saying to ourselves, I'm not just this body, I'm not just this breath, I'm not just my emotions, I'm not just the thoughts. So with each round of saying, I'm not justice, we're distilling and reducing to the essence. And then as if that essence is putting on one layer over the other, saying that is me, the breath is me, the emotions are me. The thoughts are also me. This body is also me. So we go into this expansiveness, the layers of the self. And if it feels useful, we can also expand this awareness beyond the body. Just like relating to the qualities of the animals in the zodiac, we can relate in the same way to the world around us. That is me. This is me. Notice how this thought dissolves the illusion of separation. And let these thoughts be, let's shift our attention to the breath. Let's slow down our breath with ujjayi breathing, softly engaging the throat to breathe in and out. Now we'll suspend all of the efforts to our breathing. And notice how you feel in the body. How does it feel with respect to your presence in the space that you're in? And how does this breathing affect your sense of time, experienced time?
When that check-in is complete, now let's deepen our practice of breathing with few more layers of attention. Bring your awareness to the shape of your feet. Notice this shape of your feet as the outline that encloses space within. Like through this shape of your feet, you're experiencing the inner volume in the feet. And let's practice the same way of attention into the lower legs, the shins, calves. The space within the knees. The space within the thighs. The space within the hips. The space within your torso. The space within your arms. The space within the neck and the head. The space within your entire body. And then you could choose to just hold your attention to this inner volume of your body or layer that awareness of the inner volume with your ujjayi breathing. And then suspending these efforts to attend to the volume and breathing. What is how you feel about your body's presence? Does your presence feel more expansive or contracted? How does it affect your sense of time? And that check-in B. Go on to now breathe a little faster. And if it feels safe to you, you can go even faster, like... feel the need to take a break. Let go of all the efforts to your breathing and check in. How does your awareness of the body feel now? How does it impact your sense of time? In other words, as you speed up your breathing, maybe even rushing it, how does it affect your perception of space and time? Notice how our perception is so relative. 
just like our perception of the self with reference to the atomic scale or the cosmic scale. May we shift from this relative perception of the senses to the absoluteness of the self. And on that note, may we close our practice today by joining palms in prayer. Bowing to the light within ourselves bowing to the light of all the teachings of yoga and the teachers through whom we receive them. We bow to the creative energy of the artists who gave us this incredible mirror to reflect on. And we also bow to each other, like we're saying, the light in me honors the light in you. Thank you so much for choosing to share your presence and practice with me. I hope this practice was useful to you. Once again, thank you so much for coming on this journey of relativity with us. Um, I hope it was useful and I wish you the most peaceful rest of this day, rest of this week weekend. <laughs>